Kid Vito Falcha everyone and you are welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Jason and in today's video what we're going to be doing is Right On by Christy Moore. Let's get into it. So there are only three chords we need for this song. We have A minor, F and G. If you know those chords skip ahead to where we get into the song and if not I'll quickly cover them now for you. So we have A minor first which is the first box second string or B. In the second box it's D and G which is four and three. <laughs> Next we have F, so you have an F chord or bar chord. The chord, it's the first box string two or B string, second box string three or G string, and in the third box five and four or A and D. So that's the chord if you're more of a beginner and if you can do bar chords, straighten that first finger to cover all the strings in the first box. And that's your F bar chord. Then we have G, so it is the second box string five or A string, third box big E and third box little E. Now if you want, I also add on um, the B string box tree. So the first finger is in the second box fifth, the second finger is in the third box sixth or E, and then I cover the bottom two strings with my third and fourth fingers. That's B and E are two and one in the third box as well. So I'm using all four fingers. That is a full G or G add nine. Um, so you can either use the open G with three fingers or the full G add nine with all four fingers. Either one is up to you. Let's get into the song. So there are a couple of parts to the song. We have an easy intro, which is just a tab. We have a more difficult intro, which is the tab and a little bit of melody picking behind with your fingers. Then we have a strumming version and we have a picking version for the main part of the song. So we're going to start off piece by piece. We'll start off with the easy intro and then a hard intro. Then we'll do the picking for the main body of the song and then the strumming for the main body of the song. So we're going to start off with the easy tab first. Okay, in this easy tab, I prefer to use more bassy notes. So instead of hitting an open string, I'll hit five on the string above. So usually they'll sound the same if your guitar is in tune. So that's the A string and five on the E string together. It sounds like one big note, but uh, the top string actually has more bass than the open A string. Now on the top two strings, they're very bassy um, themselves so you won't hear much of a difference it's more when you go down in the strings and there's more pitch that you want more bass if you are just doing a simple tab so we start off by hitting the big E and then the A string open then two zero two three on that A string then two on D and two on G now I go five four five on that G string instead of the one zero one on the B string. So you can go one zero one on the B, very pitchy, but on the G, adds more bass and it's a lot softer. And then two on G, two zero on D. Then three two three on the A string. And then two on D, two on A, and open A to finish. So that intro goes like this. Okay, so that's the easy, easy, basic one. And then you can either go into the picking um, of the main song or the strumming for the main song. But what we're going to cover next is the more difficult introduction to the song. So guys, the more uh, difficult introduction is based around the chord. So we're going to need to know that A minor F bar chord and I use the full G with the four fingers or G add nine. Um, they're the three chords we're going to need because we play the tab and then we do a finger picking for those chords as well. So we start off in an A minor chord. You pick your top string and then the A string. So E, A. And as soon as you hit that, then you are using your index middle and your third finger to pick the D, G, B. So it's E, A and then D, G, B. And then all you're hitting is the thumb, index, middle, and third finger. So it goes A, D, G, B, and then A to finish. So E, A, D, G, B, A, D, G, B, A. Then the next one, two, zero, two, three on that A string. Two on the D string. 
then you're into an F bar chord and you're going to start with the D string and your third, your pinky finger should be on there so it's box three and you're going D, G, B, E. And that's just D, G, B, E twice and then finish on the D. So D, G, B, E, D, G, B, E, D. Then on the B string, one, zero, one. Then on the G string, two, D, and it's two, zero. And you're going straight into the picking. So that was D, G, B, E with the two fingers on B and E number three. So. So again on the F it's one, zero, one, G, two, D, two, and then zero on D, zero on G, three on B, three on E, and then again D, G, B, E, D, and then three, two, three on the A string, two on the D string, and two, zero on the A string, and just finish off in an A minor chord. And that first, that last A minor is the exact same as the first A minor you would have played. So it's two, zero on A, and then it's A, D, G, B, A, D, G, B, A. And then you can just play through the whole thing again, like I did at the very start of the song. So that would sound like this. Okay, nice and slow, just like that. So they are the two introductions. We have the easy one with just a tab or the hard one, which has the tab and a bit of the main picking as well. So let's get into the main picking of the body of the song now. So guys, the chord progression for this song is A minor, F, G, A minor. Those four chords played over and over and over again. And the picking is going to be for A minor, A, D, G, B, four times. Just like that. So I use my thumb, index, uh, middle, and third finger for that. I use my thumb on the bass and also A, then my index, D, middle, G, and my third finger, B. And four times. Okay, just like that. And I use my pinky finger down for balance underneath the strings. And then you're into your F bar chord. And it's again the middle four strings, A, D, G, and B. And that's four times. Then you're into your G chord. Now what I'm doing here is I'm hitting the bass note on the top string, D, G, and little e. So that's E, D, G, little e. E, D, G, little e. So a bit more of a gap because G is spread across all six strings. And then finally we're back to the A minor with the middle four strings and it's four times. Just like that. So that is the main part of the song. I'm going to play it for you now. It's A minor, F, G, and A minor, like this. So that is the main part of the song, your A minor, F, G, A minor. You would get away with picking just the middle four strings on all four chords, but if you want to just change it up on that G, just hit the top string and the bottom string instead of A and B. So it's top, D, G, and bottom. And just remember to use those fingers over and over and over again. Don't try to use your thumb for it all. Um, try to use as many fingers as you can because they are there. And the more you get used to them, then the better that will be later on when you try harder songs. Now we get to the easiest part of the song with A minor, F, G, A minor, just the strumming. The strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, one and two and. So we start off with A minor and that's played four times for every single chord. A minor, one, two, three, four into your F, one, two, three, four into your G, one, two, three, four and A minor, two, three, four just like that. So they are the four different parts. We have the intro tab, the easy one. And um, we have the more complex one, which adds picking into that as well. 
we have then the main body of the song with picking, so A minor, F, G, and A minor with the... And then the easiest part with the strumming, just the same chords, A minor, F, G, A minor, in that order, with down, down, up, down, up, four times for every chord. So it's up to you which version you want to play. If you are to strum it or pick it, um, the chorus of it would probably sound something like this. Right on, see you. I can never go with you no matter how I want it to. So guys, that is the song. We have those two intros, we have those two main parts to the song. The main chords are A minor, F, G and A minor, the whole way through. How you want to play it is up to you. You have a load of variation there. You can do the easy tab with hard picking, you can do the hard intro with the easy strumming, or you can mix them around the other way, or you can go from the easy tab into the hard picking, into the hard picking for the main song, into the strumming. It all depends on how you want to play it and how skilled you are. This song is in the key of C, so if you have more knowledge on music, you can add more in there, the notes you're allowed to use then are your A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There's no sharps, so don't be afraid to mess around with those scales. And hit all those notes and add in more to the song to add to your style. Um, if you don't follow me already on Instagram, Facebook, do because I do put up um, pictures and notes when these songs are about to release. Also, what songs are coming over the next few weeks. And yeah, I just put up loads of stuff there, so it's just great to see what we're doing at the time. Also, we have a studio where I am and we're constantly working on it we're in the middle of a rebuild at the minute so hopefully that'll be done soon and I'll be putting up pictures so it's great just to see what's out there and around but guys that is it for today hit that like button if you liked it subscribe if you're new and as always I will see you next time